Hi, this is Tony Mormino here, and wanted to do a quick video discussing the difference between modulating hot gas reheat and hot gas bypass. And I think there's seems to be a little bit of confusion in the industry, I guess, because they both use the words hot gas in them, but they're they're really two completely different things, uh, piped completely differently and used for different reasons. So I'm going to review these with you real quick. So this is modulating hot gas reheat. So if you take this diagram here and remove the reheat coil, what you have at the basics of every HVAC refrigeration system. You have a compressor, condenser, your thermal expansion device, or TXV, and evaporator coil. What happens is your compressor takes the gas from the evaporator. It, add, it adds pressure and temperature to the gas, sends it over to the condenser coil, which then rejects much of the heat to the relatively cool atmosphere, brings it back around to the thermal expansion device, which lowers the pressure and sends it to the evaporator, this liquid to the evaporator coil, which then boils off from the heat from the air going across it. So that takes the heat out of the air, puts it in the refrigerant, turns it into a gas, sends it back to the compressor. Okay, so that's your four basic components of every, basically every refrigeration cycle. What happens in a reheat system is we take some of the gas that would normally go to the condenser and we divert it over to the reheat coil. The reheat coil is generally one or two row coil downstream of the evaporator coil. Now, why would you do this? So what happens is, and mostly in a dehumidification cycle, is you're taking the air across the evaporator coil and you removing the moisture from it. You're generally leaving the coil in the low 50s. So if you blow very cold air into your space and it's hot outside, that's great. But sometimes at low, low conditions, that air is too cold for, for the space. So we reheat the air with this reheat coil using the heat that would generally go to the atmosphere. And we can accomplish this with a couple valves, reheat controller, and a couple sensors. So it's pretty easy to do today, very common. 